Let's say you're in some type of a strange casino that has strange casino games, and you approach a table, and on that table there's a bag. There's a bag, and the gentleman, I guess, who runs the table, that looks more like a vase than a bag, but you get the general idea. He says, well, this is an interesting game. What I have here is an empty bag. I'm going to place some marbles in that bag. And he shows you the marbles. They're identical marbles except for the color. So there are five green marbles, or three green marbles, and two orange marbles. And you watch the guy actually stick them in the formerly empty bag. So one, two, three green marbles, and two orange marbles. One, two orange marbles. And he says this game is all about picking out two green marbles. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your hand in. You're not going to be able to see what you're doing. All the marbles feel exactly the same. And you're going to try to pick out a marble. If the first marble is green, you're still in the game. Then you're going to try to pick out another green marble. If the second marble you pick out, so the first marble, you're going to take it out. You're going to put it on the table. And then you're going to put your hand in the bag again and try to pick out another green marble. If that's green as well, if you get two green marbles, then you are going to win. You are going to win $1. And he says, well, this seems like an intriguing game, something that's not too difficult to play. It might be a little bit of fun. But how much does it cost to play the game? And the gentleman says, it will cost you, it will cost you 35 cents. 35 cents to play. So my question to you is, is this a good game to play? Is it rational for you to pay 35 cents to play a game where if you pick out the two marbles in this way, two green marbles, that you will actually get a dollar? So let's think a little bit about the events that need to occur. So you need, the, you, the, the first marble is somewhat easy to think about, or we've thought about it in previous videos. What is the probability of the first marble, I'll say the first M, being green. That'll be my little shorthand. What's the probability of the first marble being green? Well, what are all of the equally likely outcomes here? Well, you could pick any one of these five marbles. They're all equally likely. They all feel the same. You can't tell the difference while you're kind of uh, rummaging around in that bag. So there's five equally likely outcomes. And how many of those outcomes satisfy this criteria that the first marble is green? Well, three of them do. There's three out of the five marbles are green. So you have a three-fifths probability that the, f that the first marble will be green. Now, that's not how you win the game. The game, the first marble has to be green and the second marble has to be green. So let's think about that a little bit. So we care about the probability that the first, first marble is green and the second, the second marble is green. Now, you might be tempted to say, well, that's just going to be, that's just going to be the probability that the first one is green times the probability that the second one, that the second one is green. I'll put the G there for green. But that doesn't fully hold in this situation. This would have been true, this would have been true if these were independent. If these were independent. But remember, when you take that first marble out, you're setting it on the table. You have changed the number of green, assuming it was green, you, or regardless of what it is, you've changed the total number of marbles in the bag. And if it was green, you've changed the number of green marbles in the bag. And so we can't think about this as two independent events. The second, the probability of the second marble being green is actually dependent on the first marble being green. So we have to think of this as the probability that the first marble is green times the probability that the second, second is green given that the first, given that the first was green. This little, this little line right over here, that literally means given. What's the probability that the second is going to be green if we can assume that the first marble is green? So what's that going to be? Well, we already know the probability of the first being green is 3 fifths. What's the probability that the second is green given that the first is green? Well, if we know that the first is green, that means that one of these green marbles is now, is now gone. So how many equally likely outcomes do we have now in this scenario given that the first marble is green? Well, we have four. And actually, that would be true regardless of what the color of the first marble is. We would only have four marbles left. And of those, how many meet our criteria that the second is green? Well, there's only two green marbles left. So there is a two fourths probability. 
So the probability of the first marble being green and the second marble being green. And remember, this is the case where we aren't replacing the marble. If we were replacing that first marble, if we were putting it back in the bag before picking the second one, then we could have done this. But we aren't. We are, we are leaving it on the table. So the probability of both happening is 3 fifths times 2 fourths, which is the same thing as 3 fifths times 1 half, which is, we could write this as 6 twentieths, or we could write this as 3 tenths, or we could write this as 0.30. Or we could write this as 30%. So you have a 30% chance of winning $1. So now let's try to answer our question. Would you want to play this game? Well, if you have a 30% chance, 30% chance of winning $1, how much are you, would you really expect to get? Especially if you were to play this over and over again. How much would you expect to get every time you play? And we'll cover this in much more depth later on in the probability playlist, the idea of expected value. But it's as simple as thinking about, well, there's a 30% chance that I win $1, so I would expect to get 30% of a dollar, which is $0.30 or 30 cents. So would you play this? Well, it doesn't make sense to pay 35 cents for something that has an expected value of only 30 cents. So no, you would not want to play this game. But with that said, let me ask you a second question. Would you want to play this game if instead of when you take the first marble out, you just leave it on the table, if after your first pick, you put that first marble back in the bag so that there are five marbles there for your second pick? In that scenario, does this game start to look a little bit better? And I'll let you think about that.